Hi there, I'm Kelly from the Sign Up Genius team. And today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks when you are working in the reports area. From your Sign Up Genius account, if you click the reports icon on the left side of the page, um, you will see any reports that you have created recently. And you'll also see your list of signups. From here, you can select uh, a single signup or multiple signups and choose the date range for, uh, for your report and the report style. Um, you may not know that you can actually select up to 25 individual signups and create a single report for the data across all of those signups. So that's really great if you're having maybe a festival or a large event where you used our tabbing feature or you have individual signups, but you want to get all of that information in one spreadsheet, um, you can select multiple signups and create a single report. So I've created a report and I'm going to click the view icon to pull that up. And from this page, um, this shows you all slots on the signup, whether they've been filled by a participant or not. Now, if you're not interested in seeing all of those unfilled slots, simply click View Report Without Blank Slots, and that will filter all of those out. So you're only seeing the data of those who have signed up. Um, one of my favorite tricks is to click the column heading to resort the data. So let's say you have too many people coming to your event and um, you want to narrow it down to maybe the first five people who signed up. If you click the sign up timestamp, then this would sort your data so that uh, you can see who the first five people were. Um, if you click it again, it will resort the order. Uh, let's say you wanted to go alphabetical by last name. Simply click that column and it will alphabetize by the last name. Um, and this report that I chose also has the responses to custom questions. So I requested a phone number, an employee number. Um, all of that information is here. Uh, custom questions are really helpful for gathering additional information. Um, if you're going to be giving your volunteers a t-shirt, for example, you can request that they select their t-shirt size. Um, if you're serving a meal, you can give them their options. Do you want chicken? Do you want a vegetarian option? Um, and whatever they choose will be here in your report. You could sort that. Um, and then once you export it, you can easily see how many people chose um, which option. Um, so after you have got your report the way you want it, you can choose the export data option. And here you have a spreadsheet of data for your records. Now, the report that you create will only stay in your Sign Up Genius account for 24 hours. So be sure to export that report if this is information that you wish to keep. Also, if you have additional participants who sign up, you will need to create a new report so that that data will be updated as well. I hope this helps you manage your sign up better. And if you have any questions, contact our team at signupgenius.com.